what I personally don't like is is the is the the way people are approaching the game with their guards. You know, um, guards are becoming more of what I call uh, pass prevention guards. Right. right you know, right. like they're just not letting the guy pass. There's no sweep attempts. There's no submission attempts. It's just like you can't pass my guard because my guard is so good. So I'm just nullifying the guy. And I find that's frustrating because it happens a lot. It was like, you know, I, I have a good guard. I have this pass prevention guard. And I just nullify, 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 nullify. Okay, there's a couple of maybe a minute left. I make an attempt. I get an advantage. I don't, I don't even need to sweep. I almost sweep you. I get an advantage. Okay, just nullify, yeah, nullify, nullify the guard, nullify yeah. the guard, and I win. It's like, man, come on. I understand that everybody's always going to strategize around the point system and to find the, the easiest route to to the medal, to the win. Mm -hmm. But I think it takes away from the integrity of, of the art where, you know, your objection should be to submit your opponent, not to win by an advantage. I agree. And you know, so... Mm -hmm. From a personal I, perspective, it's always been to me, like, you want to... If you want to do this, as a, it's, it's based in self-defense and combat, right? Like, so the idea is that you want me... Put, you want me dictating the, where, the, where, the, where things happen. And I don't think in a practical situation, sitting down isn't going to get you anywhere, right? Going for, gunning for the takedown, is, it's in the spirit of the sport, in my opinion. Yeah, I know, I know. But the other thing that uh, kind of, that I don't like about that is because it, it got instilled early on where the guard was always a, def a defensive thing. And if it's been ingrained in, in the culture of jiu-jitsu where, you know, on a baseline level, if you can't pass my guard, you should lose, mm. right? Mm -hmm. Where I don't like that. If it's a competitive sport and you're chasing the win, I don't like that the onus is always on the guard passer. So you'll see it in tournaments, like the guard passer is getting penalized for stalling. But why doesn't the guard player get penalized for stalling? Like if I'm just tying you up in a lasso guard and doing nothing with it, shouldn't you be penalized too? Because you're not trying to sweep. You're not trying to submit. This is what I'm saying. Like, there's a hierarchy in the, in the game and objectives in the game. So as a, guard, as a guard player, I'm trying to sweep. I should be trying to sweep you or trying to submit you. Right? I'm not – it's not a, oh, I'm going to just stop you from passing. Mm -hmm. And that's where it is, you know. And I find it so – I've watched it hundreds of times. It goes to a judge's decision. Always gives, it to, always gives the win to the guard player. Again, it's ingrained in our in our in our sport that if you can't pass the guard, you should lose. So if you have the more efficient guard, better you know, then the, if the guy can't pass, then you are better at playing guard. You you win. And I I think that needs to be changed. I think that if you're gonna penalize the guy on top, you should penalize the guy on the bottom. If need if like if the guy on top is not trying to pass, you should be penalized. If the guy on the bottom is not trying to sweep or sweep or submit, you should be penalized. Right and to push push action to push the ultimate goal, which is man submit the guy, try to submit them right. But again, people are it's the egos and 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 for some people, keep in mind like this is all they have. Their whole world revolves around winning that medal, and you know it, it's important. So they they will do whatever they need to do, and if it means winning by an advantage and strategizing where they just win by an advantage, then that's what they're gonna do. That's that's the playing the game right. Mm 